Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Alia Natasha Metimo Marusli. I am from AC Two Two Zero Five D. The purpose of this video is to present to you the dashboard of our company. Our company name is Divine Dessert. And for your information, we sell four type of cake flavor, which is burnt cheesecake, pudding cake, chocolate cake, and vanilla cake. Okay. For the first chart, I will explain to you the sale trend analysis by month. In 2022, July recorded the highest sale at 655 ringgit, while November had the lowest sale, totaling only RM45 ringgit. This indicates a significant difference of 610 ringgit between the highest and the lowest sale in 2022. In 2021, October stood out with the highest sale, reaching to RM 420 ringgit, while January had the lowest sale, amounted to 60 ringgit. The difference between the highest and the lowest sale in 2021 was 360 ringgit. The graph above clearly demonstrates a substantial difference. In sale between the month of July and August in the year 2022, it show the August experience a significant decline in sale compared to July. The difference between the two months is a substantial 565 ringgit, indicating a sharp decrease in sale during August. Next, from the graph above. It can be illustrated that there is an increase in sale for the month of June in 2022 compared to June 2021. This implies a growth in sale performance for June 2022 as compared to the same month in the previous year. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nofatia Binti Zakifli. I'm going to explain about the second analysis of Objective One, which is sales analysis by branch. The multiple bar chart shows the total sales obtained by each branch of Divan Dessert in 2021 and 2022. In Johor branch, there is no sales of vanilla cake, while pandan cake contributes the most to the revenue of Divan Dessert, which is 500 ringgit. As for Kuala Lumpur, the highest revenue was earned from the sales of vanilla cake, which is 225 ringgit. Followed by pandan cake with 150 ringgit, burnt cheesecake with 120 ringgit, and chocolate cake with 90 ringgit. Next, in the Greece Milan, there is a significant difference between the most sold cake and the least sold cake, which are burnt cheesecake and pandan cake. The sales of burnt cheesecake in the Greece Milan is 600 ringgit, while the sales of pandan cake is 100 ringgit. The difference is 500 ringgit. Then, same as Johor, there is no sales of vanilla cake in Pahang. The highest sales in Pahang is from the sales of pandan cake with 450 ringgit, followed by chocolate cake with 270 ringgit, and lastly burnt cheese cake with 120 ringgit. In Selangor, there is a slight difference in the sales of pandan cake, burnt cheese cake, and vanilla cake, which is 400 ringgit. 360 ringgit and 315 ringgit respectively. There is no sales of chocolate cake in Selangor. Lastly, pandan cake is very popular in Terengganu since it has the highest sales which is 400 ringgit. The revenue earned from the sales of vanilla cake, burnt cheesecake and chocolate cake in Terengganu is 90 ringgit, 60 ringgit and 45 ringgit respectively. My name is Shamim Ilani Pinti Sharunzin and I will explain about the graph of the third analysis which is Profit Analysis by Branch. The multiple pie chart shows profit earned in, in each branch by the type of product sold in 2021 and 2022. For instance, it can be seen that the highest sum of profit in both years was earned by the sales of product BC01 in the Negeri Sembilan branch with RM200. Followed by the sales of product PC01 in Johor branch with 150 ringgit and product PC01 in Pahang branch with 135 ringgit profits. The chart also shows that products like BC01 in Johor branch, BC01 in Pahang branch and CC01 in Selangor branch could not produce any profit throughout the operation in both years. 
For the grand total, Negeri Sembilan gained the highest profit in both years by the sum of 410 ringgit by the sales of all four products. My name is Noor Azina bin Dizon Kofi. Next is the graph for is sales analysis by branch and product. Based on the graph above, it shows that sales analysis by branch and product for Divine Desert. Divine Desert has six branches which are Johor, Negeri Sembilan, Pahang, Selangor, Terengganu and Kuala Lumpur which is the headquarters for Divine Desert. As for Johor, the highest sale is from Pandan Cake which is RM500 followed by Chocolate Cake RM270 and Burnt Cheese Cake Cake is 120 There is no sales for Vanilla Cake sold by the Johor branch. Next is Negeri Sembilan has the highest sales among all the branches for Burnt Cheese Cake which is RM600. Meanwhile, Vanilla Cake is RM360. Chocolate cake is 180 and pandan cake is RM100. For Terengganu, the highest selling is pandan cake which is RM400 followed by vanilla cake, burnt cheesecake and chocolate cake which is RM90, RM60 and RM45 respectively. For Pahang, the highest selling product is from pandan cake which is RM450 ringgit meanwhile chocolate cake is RM270 ringgit and burnt cheesecake is RM120 ringgit there is no sales for vanilla cake sold by the Pahang branch next sales from Selangor recorded pandan cake as their highest selling product which is RM400 ringgit why second and third is burnt cheesecake is RM360 ringgit and vanilla cake is RM350 ringgit respectively. Lastly, as for the headquarters in Kuala Lumpur, the highest sales is vanilla cake which is RM225 ringgit. It followed by pandan cake is RM150 ringgit. Burnt cheesecake is RM120 ringgit and chocolate cake is RM90 ringgit that been sold by Kuala Lumpur. Negeri Sembilan has the highest total sale which is RM1240 for all products sold while Kuala Lumpur has the lowest total sale which is RM585 for all products sold by Divine Desert. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Siti Naiza Bentiramli and I will present about the last analysis for objective when there is sale trend analysis by you. Based on the start bar chart, it shows the sales trend analysis for year 2021 and 2022 for Divine Desert products. As stated in the chart, for the year 2021, the highest sale is RM900 for Panda Cake and followed by the second highest is RM585 for Chocolate Cake. Next, RM540 is Vanilla Cake, meanwhile the lowest sale for the year 2021 is RM360 for burnt cheesecake. This shows that pandan cake is more popular than burnt cheesecake in the year 2021. For the year 2022, the highest sale is RM1100 for pandan cake. Next, RM1020 is for burnt cheesecake. Then, RM415 is for vanilla cake. Meanwhile, the lowest sale for, to, for the year 2022 is RM270 for chocolate cake. This shows that pandan cake is still in demand and getting more popular because the sale increased by 200 from previous year. As for burnt cheesecake, the sales increased by 660 and now the second highest for the year. However, the sales for both Chocolate cake and vanilla cake show a decreased movement than last year. Amounted RM315 and RM19, respectively. Objective 2 Analyzing customer interaction, profiling customer behavior and preferences, and buying habits. Chart set, which is customer analysis by gender. From the chart, it shows that the total number of customer is based on gender that buy from the divine dessert. As for male customer, there are 24 while female customer are 26. 
this shows that females are more interested in dessert than male. So by having this kind of analysis, we can focus on how to improve the marketing techniques in order to attract more customers to buy our products. Next, I will explain to you customer analysis by product. The pie chart above show the customer analysis by product for the year 2021 and 2022. Based on that, it clearly show that pandan is the highest requested flavor among customer, which is 30% of the total preference. This indicate that a majority of customer have a preference for pandan flavor over other. The second most requested flavor is chocolate cake amounted for 28% of customer choice. The difference between the pandan and chocolate flavor is only 2%. Next, the second lowest requested flavor by customer was burnt cheesecake with only 22% of customer choice. And lastly, the vanilla cake flavor had the lowest popularity with only 20% of customers selecting it. Surprisingly, the gap between the most chosen flavor and the least chosen flavor is just 10%. Next, the third analysis of Objective 2 is Customer Analysis by Mind by Quantity. The graph illustrates the customer analysis by mind by quantity of divine dessert. In January, two customers visited divine dessert and four units of cakes were sold. In February, Divine Dessert got 5 customers and 12 units of cakes were sold. In March, there were 4 customers that bought a total of 7 cakes. In April, 5 customers came and bought 11 cakes. In May, 3 customers visited the bakery and 5 units of cakes were sold. In June, 6 customers bought 12 units of cake. The number of customers is consistent from July to October, which is 4 customers. 14 cakes were sold in July, 7 in August, 6 in September, and 12 in October. 3 units of cakes were bought by 2 customers in November, and 11 units of cakes were bought by 7 customers in December. To conclude, the highest number of customers visited the bakery was in December, but the highest sales of cakes was in July. Next is the customer analysis by branch for year 2021 and 2022. The chart shows that the highest number of customers that have visited Divine Dessert is at the Paham branch in 2021 with 8 customers. The second highest is tied with the Negeri Sembilan branch and Paham branch with 6 customers in each branch in the year 2022. However, it can be seen that there is a reduction in the number of customers visiting the Paham branch because there are only 2 customers visiting the branch in year 2022 compared to 8 customers in year 2021. The last analysis for Objective 2 is Customer Analysis by Payment. Chart 10 is about Customer Analysis by Payment. Based on the donut chart, it shows the percentage of Customer Analysis by Payment. As stated in the chart, 86% of customers use cash payment methods while 14% of customers prefer using online payment method when buying goods. Nowadays, people prefer to pay via online rather than cash because it is more convenient and fast but it has pros and cons when they prefer these payment methods. The first analysis for the third objective in analyzing the stock performance is the analysis of salesperson performance by sales by product. The stack bar chart shows the sales percent performance by sales for each product sold in year 2021 and 2022. The highest sales is by Alia with 1000 ringgit gain in both years. It also can be seen that Alia is the only sales person who managed to sell all four types of products throughout the years. Why? 
the other 12 salesperson only manage to sell either only three or only two types of products. Followed by Zone Coffee with the total sales of 645 ringgit by selling vanilla cake, pandan cake and brain cheesecake. And then showing me the third highest with the total sales of 600 ringgit by selling pandan cake, chocolate cake and brain cheesecake. The lowest total sales gained by Sharizin with 165 ringgit who managed to sell only 120 ringgit of bread cheesecake and another 45 ringgit of vanilla cake. The second analysis for objective 3 is chart 12, salesperson performance by sales by branch. Based on the bar chart, it shows salesperson performance by sales by branch of the wine dessert. The wine dessert has 6 branches which are Taranganu, Pahang, Selangor, Negeri Sembilan and Kuala Lumpur which is the headquarters of the wine dessert. Overall, the total of salesperson for the wine dessert is 13 of which 3 of them were at headquarters branch while the balance of 10 salesperson were at other branches with 2 salesperson per branch. As for Terengganu, the salesperson who is responsible for making sales are Azrina and Fatiha, which contribute the total sale of RM595. Next, in the Pahang branch, the salesperson who work there are Shamimi and Ilyani, which contribute the total sale of 814. For Selangor, the salesperson who is responsible for is Aru Rosli and Zonkufli, which contribute the total sales of RM1075. As for Negeri Sembilan, the total sales is RM1214, which is contributed by Alia and Natasha. Then in the Johor branch, the sales person responsible for making sales are Aiza and Siti, which contribute the total sales of 890. Lastly, for the headquarters, in Kuala Lumpur, the sales person are Ramli, Sharunzi and Zulkifli which each make sales of RM214, RM165 and R118 respectively when combined the total sales of the three sales person is RM585. Among the six branches, the highest sales are from Negeri Sembilan while the lower sales are from the headquarters in Kuala Lumpur. Next, the graph above show the sales person ranking for the year 2021 and 2022 from the lowest to the highest. It showed that the top three performance for the year 2021 and 2022 are AL01, ZO01 and SH01 with sale of RM1000 ringgit. 645 ringgit and 600 ringgit. The difference between the first and the second ranking is only 655 ringgit. Meanwhile, the difference between the second and the third ranking are 45 ringgit only. As for the lower sale, the salesperson with staff ID SY01 has the lower sale, which are 165 ringgit. It has a difference of 835 ringgit compared to the highest salesperson sale. Other than that, the graph show that RA01, NA01, and IL01 have the same sales price of 240 ringgit for both years. Next uh, is the chart 14, which is sales performance profit. Based on the chart that we have seen here, it shows the salesperson performance by profit for a year 21 and 22 for Divine Dessert. The salesperson for, from the chart is referred as staff ID, which are AL01, ZO01, XH01, AI01, RU01, SI01, NA01, IL01, RA01, ZU01, FA01 and XY01. The highest profit is RM330 ringgit which goes to AL01 while the lowest is RM55 ringgit goes to XY01 
which is the reason for Xiaomi. We choose this bar chart because it is much easier for us to see from the highest and the lower profit that come from the salesperson so that our staff will be more encouraged to do a better performance. The last analysis of objective 3 is salesperson performance by year. The multiple bar chart illustrates the salesperson performance by year for the year 2021 and 2022. In 2021, the two salespersons who have the highest sales are Shamimi with 600 ringgit and Zun Kofli with 420 ringgit. Natasha and Siti have the same amount of sales, which is 180 ringgit. The salesperson with the least amount of sales in 2021 is Sharon Zin. As for 2022, the top three salesperson with the highest sales are Alia with 865 ringgit, followed by Aiza with 450 ringgit, and Rusli with 370 ringgit. In 2022, Shamimi has zero sales.